Hi everyone, my name is Daniel. So here is the uh, um, Freedom Pop Bring Your Own Phone. So it's good service from Freedom Pop that I previously do have Freedom Pop. I have at least seven count with Freedom Pop. Just to let you know. And reason why I bring my own phone, uh, and you might be wondering why do I bring my own phone when Freedom Pop sell the phone. Of course, I know Freedom Pop sell the phone because I have in my hands right now. I was very disappointed of the service that the, this phone came with it. So they do have review of this phone and description. So here, let's go into the Freedom Pop VOD. Bring your own device. I assume that's what I call, but if not, that's fine. I want. I have a lot of good things to, to talk about on um, Bring Your Own Phone. First of all, I purchased this phone is $85 from BestBuy.com retailer. Then I only had to pay $19.99 for the activation fee. And I have the 500 megabit and Data and I have um, 200 talk and 500 text. That's called pay, pay, beta version of it. So, um, bring your own phone. If you guys familiar, if you guys have a iPhone that is Sprint, Sprint, um, it had to be not unlock basically cannot be locked on lock phone it had to be locked phone lock to sprint you cannot unlock the phone if there have any update about that please leave in the comment this uh, let me know if you can be able to purchase the phone that unlock and bring to freedom pop because i want to know because freedom pop using sprint and also is cdma freedom pop did tell me they are only except the phone is locked, not unlocked. So that's just what I get. Um, another question, another good thing about the bring your own phone, I have no problem whatsoever. I love the Freedom Pop service on iPhone 4S. Um, and surprisingly, amazingly, how work it is. On Wi-Fi and data and cellular, and I'll be able to watching YouTube short short clip of the video in matter of second, two second, three second, which that's not really long waiting. And this also good for people that like use Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, email, basic browser browsing, and. Good. Also, you be able to use this iPhone as a message if you have Apple product. If you have Apple product, you can communicate with iMessage. That's what I did. Um, that have iMessage on this device that I can contact people over the cellular. If you familiar with that, so you do allow to do that, but you do not allow to text on like the people. Let's say. This is Android phone. I cannot text this phone because that's Android. So you will, if you do that, you're gonna get an error message say you're not allowed to do that. So which what I did is block that number. So from then, I never received any thing about. Uh, another thing is very good about bring your own device that you know this phone is good before you activate it. It's also it's like you know if if you have this phone for let's say two year you know after you finished uh, spend two year contract I know it's for most people they do do that but you know for me I just purchased a phone out of date so like I said before I have this phone for three months um, I've bought it from Best Buy so you do able to test this phone before you activate with the carrier which that's awesome thing to do because like this phone you bought from their website you have 
hard time to return it like I said on a previously video so it's good thing you keep that in mind that is good thing to bring your own phone like I have snapchat I have um, YouTube I have uh, everything that social media basically provide um, I do not this bring your own device did not block anything did not prevent me from get on YouTube make a call use a different third party seller uh, third party apps like such as text now uh, if you're familiar with the apps good that's basically a prepaid service as well so another thing good thing about I don't have any question I don't have any problem with calling people with voice over IP phone so I don't have any problem with it I have good connection probably most of 80% of time I have pretty good and they do have a little bit delayed you know if you don't mind that they do have a little bit delay and and the YouTube video is ranging a uh, random like ran, running pretty smoothly and I do be able to use it, all the apps that um, it provide on the um, on the iPhone that you can download yeah so yeah um, I do have experience with it and do you do let you know this uh, data I do allow you to download apps like 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 on this one on Android one this is from Freedom Pop um, you are not allowed to download apps which not very fast so yes it's not very good to use Android to download apps it's good to use it this as your apps download if you don't have Wi-Fi available in your area it's good thing to have iPhone to download apps whatever you want it and whenever you want it and you do have the option to listen to I me uh, iTunes music I don't know what I call it but Prandora and other stuff like you can use this stuff find them on iPhone and you do be able to enable location service um, Facebook and iHeartRadio does not affect like I said Pandora I don't have any problem I don't have lag and that just for me I don't know how you your area for Sprint so just like you know Pandora is pretty good for me and of course I do be able to FaceTime but I, re I do have two, 500 megabit so it's not really good to use it and on the top you do be able to see I have three uh, two out of five bar two bar only and I still get pretty good YouTube rendering which YouTube video is pretty smooth to run on the application um, of course you do be able to see they do have pretty quick video and I can click on in less than a minute I will be able to watch the video and of course it's pretty good quality if you can see so that's of course on full screen let me just pull into the full screen and you can see they don't have like in between that don't have like and this I show you this is what that quality looks like so it it's awesome and to you can also change of course you cannot change the quality of the icon you can see only if my camera focus so yeah just let you know that you're not able to change anything on the video so you can see in less than a minute you'll be able to watch YouTube and less than a minute you can be able to uh, launch um, Snapchat so of course I disabled because I normally don't use a Snapchat so yes so that's what it is and you know I do be able to use all the stuff I need to do like I said pretty much I have pretty good connection solid connection with Sprint on iPhone 
And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please give us this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.